Hello students, in the video, we will need previous year questions from the topic regulation of gene expression. Part. So, we already post a short video with continuation. Neither. So, the question is, which of the following is required as inducer for the expression of lac operon? So, 2015, the question So, always the inducer is lactose in case of lac operon. Okay. So, next question is, gene regulation governing lac operon of E. coli that involves the lac I gene product is. So, in the gene regulation it's a negative regulation. Why? In the regulatory gene is constitutively expressed. So, in the repressor protein bind produce it. In the repressor it is operator region bind it. Only in the presence of the inducer lactose, in the lactose repressor bind in the transcription. So, the answer is, is uh, D. It's a negative regulation and inducible. So, lactose here in the, uh, the uh, in the uh, uh, lac operon, one, it's inducible. Because repressor protein prevents transcription. Correct? Huh? So, in the picture, you can see So, the answer is, it's a negative regulation and inducible because repressor protein prevents transcription. Next question is, which of the following is wrongly matched? The first option is transcription, writing information from DNA to transfer RNA. This is wrong because transcription le, DNA to messenger RNA na on the copy. Ahu. So, this is the wrong statement. Then translation using information in mRNA to make protein. This is correct. Repressor protein binds to operator to stop enzyme synthesis. Binds to operator to stop enzyme synthesis. This is right. Operon line are structural genes, operator, promoter and regulatory gene are causing this pantanga. But this is the wrong statement. Transcription writing information from DNA to transfer RNA, this, that is wrong. Uh, the lac operon consists of, if you lac operon, la na, or a regulatory gene and three structural genes. Are so the answer is one regulatory gene and three structural genes. The option B is the right answer. Then what does lac refers to what we call the lac operon? Lac always refers to lactose in lac operon. Okay. So in E. coli, during lactose metabolism, repressor binds to, so this repressor always binds to operator region in lac operon. Okay. Operator gene. So students, if you have this video useful, kindly subscribe to my channel and don't forget to comment, like and share. Thank you.